this video, we'll see how you can integrate third-party APIs in your application. For third-party APIs, I mean it can be any other, any libraries developed by a third-party developer or any other vendors. For example, it can be an open source library or it can be a commercial library or it can be a free library. In this video, we'll see how you can integrate Facebook API and use a Facebook login in your application. Nowadays, many apps come with login with Facebook button so that you need not have your own login mechanism. This gives user a feeling of trust. People trust Facebook. So when you integrate Facebook in your app, people will trust your app because you are not asking user to enter any username and password. You are redirecting the user to use the Facebook credentials so that the app can make use of the Facebook data if required and it can gain the trust of the user. So Facebook has very good APIs that you can use in your Android app. In order to create an app that has Facebook integration, you need to create an account with Facebook. Then go into developers.facebook.com, define an app. Facebook has very strict mechanism of validating whether the request is coming from a genuine app. That is why I said that, you know, users can trust your app. So Facebook provides a good mechanism of validating your app, your credentials, so that users who are using Facebook login in your app are not cheated or fooled or, you know, the data is not uh, lost anywhere. So let's go to developers.facebook.com and create a new app. So I'll say add a new app. So we are building an Android app. Facebook obviously supports iOS, Android, Facebook Canvas or a website. So you can integrate Facebook in any of these four domains. So my app name is Super Duper App. Is the test version of another app? No. Contact email, it's my current email ID. Category, what is the category your app belong to? My app belongs to an entertainment app. So Facebook gives an app ID for every app. Facebook gives a unique app ID in order to identify your app. This app ID should be used in your app to authenticate with the Facebook. So these are the steps we need to use in our app. Let's follow one by one and execute them. Add Facebook SDK to your project. Go to Android Studio new project. Let's create a new project. We'll create an empty activity. So the new project is getting created. So as you can see, the main activity has been created and the XML file is generated. Let's go back to our steps. Select API 15 and 4.0.3, yes. Our app supports from API 16, so we are having no issues. Project, add Maven Central. So we'll copy this code and paste it in build.gradle of our app. Make sure that you paste it in proper Gradle file. There's a project level Gradle file and the, there's an app level Gradle file. We need to paste it in a app level Gradle file. Once the content is pasted repositories, let's sync it. Okay, we are good. So step number four is over. Add compile to your build.gradle. So in your dependencies, Go ahead and copy this. So let the project build. And finally, import the project Facebook SDK in your app. So these seven steps are over.